or I'm gonna do a review here on the, the Molly 2 large rucksack. I was gonna do one a while back, just haven't done it yet. But I also wanted to kind of use it and everything before I could, you know, uh, determine some things on it and everything. I will say up front, straight up, it is a fantastic pack. This is excellent. Uh, large, it can carry a lot of stuff. Let's just get right into it. First of all, got a big belt frame, back frame, back pad. You know, like that, it's adjustable for your size a little bit. Big nice belt on it, big nice uh, clips to undo it, put it back on. This thing has got molly webbing everywhere for many things to tie it down to. You know, it's got a quick release on it right here where you can quick release it off you on both sides. Uh, strap it down, tie it, you know, cinch it down on your back. It's got a nice out, out, you know, outer outer frame to it. Heavy duty plastic. I think it's the same kind of plastic they use in a lot of firearms like Glock pistols and Smith and Wessons and things like that. You know, so it's a heavy duty, heavy duty plastic. And uh, It's got a lot of molly webbing on the front of it, you know, on the top here in the lid. Up there. It's got a, a, a Velcro pouch right here. Keep a, I've got, I've got everything almost empty out of it right now. But I got my uh, schmog in there and I got a, I got a little Bible I'll keep with me. And, um, it's just a little extra pocket, like a map pocket, basically. Uh, it's got a it's got a coating on the inside of it, all the way through it. It's not waterproof. It's water resistant. Hence why I have my backpack cover from O241 Tactical. But good look in here. Let's get this in here. See if we can get this camera adjusted here real quick. That's a, that is a large, a large pack. Plenty of stuff in there, plenty of stuff. Right down here, it actually has a zipper that you can undo if you want to use the bottom part of this too. So, it's a little separated to keep it separate for your bed, your uh, sleeping system and everything, but it's open on the sides as well. Um, you have this area right here, these little flaps though, where you can Velcro them. Kind of hold stuff in there where it doesn't slip down into the bottom. But also, you can leave them open if you want to like put tent poles or something in there. It goes all the way straight to the bottom. And that's on both sides. And then of course, you got your little cord right here into that shut you know get really get really tight and everything put your cord back in there so it's not dangling you know of course let me get this straightened back up here all right so got that and then down here that's where your sleep system goes it's got good heavy duty military zippers You see that? That's a good amount of space in there to stick your military sleep system. And that's what it's designed for is your MMS, or MSS, whatever it's called. It's your military bag, you know, with the, the whole layers on it, the bivy cover and the uh, stuff sack, and you cinch it down. Now, of course, this is big enough where you can fit a lot of stuff in there different things or you know different sleeping bags of course got a drain hole down here in case it gets water in it straps on the bottom here Huff. and 
also right here. These huge pipes. This thing opens wide open. These are huge. These sustainment pouches. It's got one, it's got a drainage hole for it too. But it's a huge sustainment pouch. They say you're supposed to be able to fit three MREs in there. And uh, I'm familiar with the MREs and their packages. I bet you you can. I know that when I carry this thing so far, I've only taken it out. I've only taken it out once with me. But um, what I found out is that what I do is I have I have right right now how I have it set up. I have two tarps that are I think seven by nines. And uh, you've seen them in my other videos. And I put them in a stuff sack. I can stick them out on there. And there's still a little bit of room on top if I wanted to, you know, have something else on top if I needed to. And these things, they cinch down, tighten up. Then a little lid to flap over and you can adjust it tighter however you want. Also, on my other sustainment pouch on the other side, I, uh, I keep two cook sets in here. That's how big these are. One of them is uh, the Ozark Trail Walmart cook set with the big pans. There's two pans in it with a lid. It's got a little uh, mesh bag that goes around it. I stick that in there. And then I carry my uh, Stanley Canteen cook set. You know, you've seen those. You're probably familiar with those. Those things are great. That actually sits right on top. And there's still little bits of room inside where you can put other little things and stuff in there too. And uh, but all that fits in there. You know, I, I showed in one of my other videos, I had the uh, the uh, other multicam, you know, BPM pack. It just wouldn't fit in. I needed something that was gonna carry more stuff. Now these things are rated to carry up to, I think 120 pounds, maybe more. Um, but then again, you know, it, you gotta think about your back, but I think, you know, for sure you can carry 100 pounds. I think it is 120 pounds, though, that you can carry them on. But uh, if that's absolutely a necessity to do so, um, it's, got, it's got the grab handle right here. You can grab it. Um, it does have a chest harness right there. Everything is fully, everything on this thing is fully adjustable. This is why I like military gear. One is that it is bomb proof. They over engineer it basically. It is tough shit. And it will last you a lifetime, especially if you take care of it. You're not rough on it. But these things, these guys, you know, you know if you're familiar with the military, which most of us are, if they're in combat or in rugged conditions, this is what they use. And this is why this stuff lasts for a long time. And a lot of times you can find it a lot cheaper and in great condition. I bought this one new but you can still find them used in excellent shape and um, a lot cheaper than you can buy, go out there and buy name brand North Face and all these other brands that are out there, which that stuff's good too. It's whatever you, you know, whatever you want to use is up to you. But man, I'm telling you, military surplus stuff and military items, they're just awesome. It's awesome stuff. Now, the only bad thing about this thing, I told you before in the other video, I absolutely hate the UCP camouflage. Absolutely hate it. But that's why I also got the backpack cover and multicam from a 0241 Tactical. And this thing fits over it with a little bit room to spare. I'm not gonna put it on right now. But it's just a better camouflage. They have all types of camouflage. Pincott Green Zone, uh, ATAX, FG, AU, they have Woodland, um, just all kinds of different camouflages and things like that, and it, it's excellent, so, but I just wanted to do a quick review on this because um, I haven't done it yet, and I know there's several reviews of them on, on uh, YouTube, but I, I, I love this pack, I love this pack, um, only only gripe I have about it is the color. You know, I've owned two other military packs. I owned a medium Alice rucksack and a large Alex rucksack. And those were okay. They they were okay. You know, a lot of people like them and, and uh I can understand why they're they're great packs. 
but I think this one is a better pack to me than that because this is what came after that one and but those but the Alice packs served the military for many years and many conflicts and did good and are still great packs um, I think this one's a little more comfortable in my opinion but um, and I think it's actually bigger even the large rucksack I think this is actually a bigger pack than the uh, large Alice pack and I like the Molly you know because this has got a ton of Molly on it where you can attach all kinds of stuff to it you know, on the inside other pouches because I think what they have is a for this right here I think there's a there's a medium Molly rucksack that you can attach to this too so it'll be kind of out here to carry more stuff so which is cool but you can attach all kinds of attachments there attachments up here like you could put another pack up here of some type another bag of some type but you know the, the old Alice packs had the Alice clips which are the little metal clips and stuff well you know you know the, the molly webbing and stuff makes it a little bit lighter a little bit more easier to deal with things like that but I just want to do a quick review on it and man these things are excellent that, and that's why I got the backpack cover one is because of the camouflage color but that I don't like but the pack itself is outstanding but these things aren't waterproof they're water resistant you know I showed you it's got the it's got this heavy coating on it and it'll take it'll take some wet you know it'll take some rain and everything but it will still get wet and get soaked through but so uh, you know I got that the multi-cam backpack cover which is waterproof so it, it does good on that but uh, and that's that's why I got that plus it's in the multi-cam color because you know to buy a multi-cam pack even a used one nowadays because multi-cam is pretty the hot camouflage one of them and the most current that our military uses is uh, it's quite expensive so it's a quite expensive pack you know to buy a brand new multi-cam one I will eventually get one it will become more available as more of it's out there but you know uh, as soon as it's available I will get one but I would still use that backpack cover because like I said this thing is not waterproof it's water resistant but not waterproof so I'd even still use that on a multi-cam backpack cover but on a multi-cam rucksack anyway so anyway I just want to do a quick review of it I'll give you a back shot of it here again good size thick shoulder pads you know they're pretty good they're pretty comfortable um, and this material it is heavy duty so what you expect from from military so but there you go just wanted to give a quick review of that and let you know about it which i'm sure a lot of you do but if you don't i highly recommend it checking it out and um it's a good pack it won't do you wrong keep it heavy <laughs>